This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I have to count this money. I don't even know if I can count it. My mom is a tremendous businesswoman. She's been very successful. She's made millions of dollars. Do I have enough to give them? When she was 22, she was making $22,000 a month. One, two, three. And then parlayed it into about $40,000 a month. I don't think I have enough. My mother was a successful multimillionaire, but now she's got nothing and she's going to die. I would like another drink, please. Did you finish the one you got in front of you? No. My mom is an alcoholic. Where's the vodka, Casey? No, no, I think she's drinking whiskey or rum or something. She doesn't even know how much she's drinking. She has blackouts. She doesn't know how far she goes. Damn it, girl. You're going to die. All she wants to do is sit on the couch with a bottle in her hand. She is extremely filthy, dirty. Her hair is in massive knots. I honestly do not think she's brushed her teeth in two weeks, and you can't sit too close to her because it's not such a pleasant smell. I don't think Casey is gonna make it if something doesn't happen. I think her body has had enough. She's deteriorating and she's living on vodka and vodka's not feeding her. I really, really miss the mom that my mom used to be. Casey was a happy child smart, very popular in school. She was very independent, very smart alecky, very hilarious. Casey wanted to be in business. She was focused, she cared about her future. She was 18 when she got a real estate license. By the time she was 20, she had two or three investment properties, but her greatest goal in life is to be a mom and be a good mom. My mom and I have a really good relationship. She was fun and loving. She was easy to talk to. She gives the best advice. She laughs. She has a contagious laugh. The banker asked her, why in the world would I lend you a million dollars? She had the big hair, big smile, and she just said, well, I meet all the requirements that you're looking for. And at that moment, he looked at me and he said, well, let's go. Let's close this loan. That was her first hotel. Lexi was a year and a half when he walked out, so Casey had to be a single mom, of course, running this business. Casey stayed focused on trying to build her financial success. And that's when she actually met her second husband, Gabe. It turned into a serious relationship, and shortly after, she was pregnant with my oldest son, Gabriel. And we got married and set off to start a family together. And she got pregnant with Dakota. The doctor didn't want to do the surgery to pull those kidney stones uh, in fear that it would put her in premature labor. So he put her on some medications, uh, some pretty strong medications to keep her from pain and helping her to sleep. One night, Casey took little Dakota to bed with her to nurse him. Oh, I don't know if I can get through this. I remember my mom being in the bathroom for hours just crying. She felt like she had rolled on him and suffocated him. The prognosis of his death was Sid's. He was just like a little little angel that went up to his death. I wanted to be there for him. Casey didn't want to talk about Dakota's death, didn't want to face Dakota's death, just kept, kept herself numb from feeling anything. 
alcohol eventually took over. Her drinking increased, her pill use increased. She's been in the hospital many times for her alcohol abuse. She's had her businesses taken away, her homes taken away, her cars taken away. I have lost millions of dollars. She's had some spells of sobriety caused either by jail time, hospitalization, and in some cases, some short forms of treatment. We always hoped maybe this is it, but she'd always relapse. A few months ago, Casey was sober. She was doing well. Gabe actually rented a house for her so that she could be close to the children. It lasted a few months, but she started drinking again. I keep drinking, and I don't know why. She's gotten out of control. Her liver's failing. Her brain's getting damaged. My mom's going to die. I'm scared to death of not having the next drink. Okay, Casey, I love you so much. You have allowed this crippling disease to ravage your health to near health, to near death, robbing all of us of your delicious sense of humor. Your alcoholism has affected my life negatively in the following ways. I have made saving your life and nurturing your health my primary focus for many, many years. I have put you all your needs before my own. By enabling you, I have become just as sick as you are. In many ways, I have lots of work to do for me. I cannot be around you if you choose alcohol over developing our healthy and dependable relationship. I need, I need that vodka right here in the pocket so I can have a life yeah, okay. Casey, I will not allow you in my home if you do not go to treatment and remain sober and complete treatment. I love you so much, honey. <clears throat> Mom, you've lost just about everything that you had going for you, and your health is very depleted. I'm constantly worrying about you and if you're okay. Um, my relationship with Tia has been affected because I put you first and I don't have a mom. That was painful to hear. If you're not willing to take part in this treatment today, our relationship will change in the following ways. I won't come check on you constantly to make sure you're okay. Nor will I come run to your side when you call me. But I will always love you. Will you accept this gift of love from all of us? Go to treatment today. Yeah, I'll do whatever I have to do to get over this. This is, I mean, this is fight style. <laughs> <laughs> The first thought when I saw my mom was, she just looked beautiful, beautiful. She was glowing. Makes me feel really, really good inside. Gives me hope for, for all of us. I feel excellent. I feel like I'm just alive. I made a connection from my head to my heart. And sobriety doesn't mean just focusing on alcohol. It's focusing on every aspect of my life. I love you. I love you. And thank you. I want my family to know how grateful I am. They have never given up. After all the times I cried wolf, thank you so much. I love you.